Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about what's really interesting in the crypto jacking world. And that's that we witnessed a very interesting attack. We're calling it the King Miner. Today I got a D with me. Do you mind sharing some insights with us? Sure. Maybe the most interesting thing is that although the values of many cryptocurrencies dropped significantly last year, the awareness of attackers to this monetization platform rose significantly. And to illustrate, the value of Bitcoin is now around $5,000. Although it was almost 20K by the end of 2017, it's close to 75% drop. And in contrast, the number of relevant attacks rose by hundreds and even thousands of percent. And although CoinHive is no longer relevant, it is still one of the most prominent monetization platforms for hackers. Pretty crazy. Tell me, how wide is this phenomenon, Adi? Based on our sensors, more than 40% out of organizations were impacted by crypto miners last year. And this epidemic crosses borders. This is worldwide and basically every industry was affected by this. Business-wise, from simple calculation, we can estimate that only the Bitcoin mining industry generated billions of dollars. So there's no question why attackers are motivated. Absolutely not. For example, in Jenkins Miner, when we investigated this, the attacker had already mined close to $3 million. <laughs> it's a crazy amount of money. It's wow, a lot of money. It's a wild amount of money. But I'm more interested about, in, uh, about King Miner, the major attack that we actually spotted in the wild. King Miner is a Monero mining attack targeting Windows servers. In this attack, we see many interesting things. For example, the malware was evolving during time. And when we investigated it, the attacker used three different versions of his malware. And by that, managed to improve his results. And here's the scoop. We have seen a fourth version and blocked many relevant attacks. So first, a Windows scripted file is downloaded and executed on the victim's machine. Then, after checking the relevant CPU architecture, another flexible file is downloaded. And by using several evasion methods, it, cause, it causes the victim's machine to run XM Rig Miner, a famous Monero miner. It's pretty crazy. I'm, but I'm, I'm sure there's many listeners out there that are very curious. What's the impact uh, that we've actually seen of this attack? How, how far did it reach? So in cases we've noticed, we saw that it almost used the entire CPU capacity of the system. And actually, King Miner is widespread. We see attacks all over the world, from Mexico to India, from Norway and Israel. We see many attack attempts each day for almost a year. We can also say that the number of attacks dropped significantly following our publication, but currently, it's still a lot. One of our main goals in this type of research is to help the security community and generate an impact. And this is a good example of that. Absolutely, it's all about helping out the community. Um, do you mind telling me and uh, describing a little bit more about the consequences of these type of attacks? Uh, so the damage and impact can be severe and there's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. It depends on the case, but you can see two main implications. The first one is consumption of expensive resources. In many cases, the mining operation uses a significant part of the CPU usage of the victim's machine. And this can drastically lower your service and increase associated costs. Based on the case, it can even result in a complete denial of service. The second thing is a negative impact on company's reputation. In cases where hackers infect an organization web servers, for example, by manipulating the site's web page, inject code in HTML page, etc., it can affect your site reputation. Pretty crazy. So, what I want to tell everybody out there is actually how we can stay protected. So in Sandblast Network, the IPS protections will block attempts to infect servers, while Antibot will block infected hosts from the actual mining operation. And simultaneously, it does this by, uh, it also pinpoints the infected assets in your network, and it'll immediately block all mining activity once it's been activated. Do you mind showing us a demo? Sure, let's see a demo. Okay, so from the victim point of view, we can see that the XM rig operation in the machine uses almost the entire CPU usage. 75.5% out of 76% of current usage. We have seen cases with almost 100%. And from the admin point of view, turning the antibot blade makes the XM rig stop instantly. And now the CPU usage is back to normal. And in addition, we can see the relevant log to that incident. And for example, here are the relevant protections for the King Miner attack. Excellent. It's been an absolute pleasure, Adi. Thank you so much for being here and having this very interesting talk. We'll see you next time.